Thanks for joining us. I'm Andy Bernstein, Executive Director of Headcount, and I'm here with Al Schneer of Mo, one of the founding board members of Headcount. Al, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to be doing a series of interviews this year, talking to artists about issues that they care about, and hopefully learning a lot and uh, really getting at some of the things that are affecting America and that we as a community can maybe change. Al, I know something that you care a lot about is the whole continuum of how we treat animals, uh, organic farming, and the health of, of what we eat and nutrition. What, uh, what do you see as the issues there, and what are some of the potential remedies that can really help this country? You know, it's, it's really interesting when you think about something as simple as nutrition and the things, just, just very simple benefits. Um, you know, when you think about our health care issues that we have in this country, the, the problems that, that, that we have, the systemic problems that we have, um, thyroid issues and adrenal issues and um, stuff with our organs, um, people are, are ending up in situations um, that shouldn't have to be a problem and are largely could can mostly largely be attributed to poor nutrition throughout the course of their lifetime if people were educated better and proper nutrition was a priority you know at the you know at, at an early point in their lives and they just ate better then we wouldn't have the same impact on our healthcare system that we have throughout you know throughout our later lives and maybe it wouldn't impact Social Security the way it does later or Medicare the way it does later. You know what I mean? If you're looking at the big picture, we could be saving millions and millions of dollars ultimately if we were just a much healthier nation all around. People would be smarter, people would be healthier, people would need less health care ultimately. And again, you know, you would have local farmers who are doing much better business and the environment would benefit from it greatly. I mean, all around, it, it just makes so much sense, but you know, you need, you need that kind of momentum and somebody who can put together the numbers that can present it to everybody and say, okay, well, you know, this isn't going to happen overnight, but here's a 20 year plan that, you know, that looks much better than the other 20 year plan. The problem is the other 20 year plan, the one where we stay on this course, keeps the corn guys making a lot of money, you know, we'll keep the pharmaceutical industry making a ton of money because everybody is sort of in a state of constantly needing to get better. And, you know, um, it keeps the current food companies sort of where they are now too because they're going to be selling all the same products they always do. And, you know, there are big companies like Procter & Gamble and Nabisco, et cetera, huge corporations that, that make a lot of money off the food that they're putting out there today. But, you know, processed white flour and high fructose corn syrup and things like that aren't really, you know, those aren't foods. Those aren't things that we should be eating. 